Uncharted 3, uh, Crushing Difficulty and Treasure Guide, uh, Chapter 6 of Chateau, Part 3. Uh, so, this is the, uh, giant firefight that does not happen out here. Uh, that first guy you can easily pull, uh, and I don't know, it seems like every time I would go there, they instantly would spot me. Uh, I never thought to really run to the right side of where I was. Um, so, I don't know. It, I never found a very good strategy going through this area. Um, the best one I found was running over here. But the only problem is that occasionally they will kind of come around from the right side. Uh, and then I ended up dying and where the checkpoint was, um, it put me right by the jeep. Uh, so for the rest of this firefight, I basically just chilled back here by the other side of the... Uh, of the well that you came out of. Uh, like where I'm shooting that guy now, I don't know if running over there is a better position for this firefight. I don't know if guys actually spawn from that direction. Uh, I, I never 100% uh, like really checked it out like even when I finished off this initial firefight part I meant to go over there just to check out that area and I just completely uh, forgot to do that so Jesus, they brought a small army with them. but uh, eventually once you clear out the guys on the ground uh, these two guys will show up uh, from these windows. Uh, on a lower difficulty, you could probably run up um, to where they are and like uh, climb up to them and pull them out the window. But on crushing. Uh, that really wasn't an option for me to attempt so I just hung back and um, took him out the easy way and uh, the good thing here is that um, even though the gun technically is still behind the cover uh, if the crosshair is on the enemy it registers as the bullet hitting him so I was able to kinda cheat the cover there the uh, take out that last guy and make sure you run through here and grab any loose ammo you have before you uh, move on from this section and uh, this is uh, our first uh, usage of the grenades uh, the controls are exactly the same as it was in uh, Uncharted 2 where if you're looking, you can quick throw a grenade or you can hold um, L2 for the arc um, indicate on where the grenade is on land. <coughs> uh, so after you kill those first two guys, you can pick up that treasure. And then uh, just kind of arc this grenade and yell Kobe or whoever your favorite basketball player is as you throw that grenade and um, take out those guys and make a passageway for you. Uh, and this firefight isn't over yet because uh, part two of it uh, picks up right up here where uh, we need to 
help uh, solve and deal with all these guys. Uh, uh, you have to be careful because where you came in up those stairs uh, to the if you're going up the stairs like basically right under where you are is an entrance way to the staircase there so occasionally guys will come running up the stairs to flank you so while you're helping solving out with some of the guys you also need to uh, keep your eyes open at that stairway um, or something like that will happen where uh, a guy will be taking pot shots at you uh, once you clear out all the guys on the ground um, Sullivan will say um, he, he says some kind of dialogue I can't remember off the top of my head as soon as you hear him say that, you know you've gotten a checkpoint. Uh, if you die, uh, if you're still up here, uh, when you reload the checkpoint, it'll put you basically on the ground above or uh, below where you are right now. Uh, so that's why there was that kind of awkward edit of me suddenly being on the ground. But it works out because uh, when you encounter the, the third part of this uh, battle, uh, it's better to be back here. Um, I never had any guys actually come from above where I was, but I do keep my eyes open towards that area just to be sure. Uh, but... Uh, Running over here, there's, uh, I think two grenades, and then there's, uh, the, the 44 Magnum gun. Uh, the main guy you want to focus on is, uh, the guy up in the building, or in, up in the mansion, that's, uh, uh, being a real pain in the balls right now for me. Um, because once you take him out, uh, then you have a little more room to uh, deal with all the guys on the ground. <laughs> and uh, the one other thing they introduced in this game uh, is depending on how close a grenade is to you, uh, you can actually throw grenades back. Uh, you get a little on-screen, like not on-screen, but a little indicator where the grenade is. Uh, if you hit Y, uh, not Y, if you hit triangle when it's in the green, uh, Drake will actually grab the grenade and throw it back. Uh, I have actually gotten like kills by throwing a grenade back. Uh, I think the most I've gotten, I've actually gotten, I think like a two two kills with a thrown back grenade and I think I want to say that's a trophy for getting two two or more kills with a thrown back grenade or kill five guys with thrown back grenades it's something like that um, it's a good little feature they threw in uh, sometimes it's just better to get the hell away from the grenade but uh, after that battle is finally over, uh, just kind of run through here, pick up any loose ammo, grenades that you can get, and uh, we'll be moving on to part four. All right. <laughs> 